and the launching of two new ebooks with an intro. Both of those ebooks have an intro via Alexander Mercuris. And those books focus on Ukraine Gate, the Ukraine Gate hoax, and a great ebook on the Epstein story. Yes, I mean these are these are two huge stories, both centering and starting in the US, but both obviously with international ramifications because they both involve uh, all kinds of people who are non-Americans. I mean, the Ukraine gate involves lots of Ukrainians, as we know. And uh, um, and of course, Epstein is now becoming a scandal, a serious scandal in Britain, where uh, the royal family through Prince Andrew is now directly affected. Now, these are the two big stories, I think, in the US at the moment. The, the impeachment, which is one of the most, I think, preposterous political scandals I have ever come across. I mean, it's this extraordinary imbalance in America between this country that has so many strengths and, which, and, and a political system that has now become so disastrously dysfunctional. But what, I, what we set out to do in this uh, book is show how absurd and misconceived and ultimately empty the Ukraine Gate story is. I mean, if Russiagate was a massive tragedy. Ukraine is just Ukraine Gate is just a low farce, an ugly low farce, and that's what our uh, um, book does. We bring together all our discussions on this topic, and I write a preface, as Alex says, in which I try to tie it all together and show the kind of absurd thing and grossly partisan thing. That Ukraine Gate ultimately is. Now Epstein is even more extraordinary in some ways because this is a real scandal. I mean this is uh, you know, a, a very mysterious, very creepy individual. We still don't really know very much about Epstein. In fact it's extraordinary how little we still know about Epstein. So all these guesses and speculations and rumours about who he was and what he was doing and how he made his money. All we know, what we do know for a fact, is that he was a monster. He was a serial trafficker, abuser of children, probably a rapist as well. I'm fairly sure of it, given the kind of things that he was involved in. I mean, he was a monster on a massive scale. And there's two things to take away from this. Firstly, that his enormous wealth and power and privilege and his position within US and international society. And this extraordinary collection of friends he had, people like Bill Clinton, Prince Andrew, they gave him protection to do all the things that he did in clear view. I mean, there was no real attempt to conceal what he was doing. And now, even after his mysterious and unexplained death that is still the case because this scandal is not being reported to anything the like anything like the extent that it should be reported so there is still this extraordinary silence that we have to try and battle against to be, to break through in order to discuss the scandal. We at the Duran have encountered it. We've had a lot of trouble with social media providers trying to get the story about Epstein out. We've had all kinds of issues with it. So these are the two stories that we, the, the two, case, the two um, big topical issues that we've done um, eBooks on. And I think people who are interested in these stories and finding out the truth about them will find those two ebooks indispensable to understand these two affairs properly. 